It is FC update time. The bed is off it yet again. Putting the draw bar on today and getting the PTO hooked up. But the main project is getting the bed finalized for installation. A lot of people are asking if I was going to paint it or what I'm going to do with it. Um, I might paint it someday if I actually restore the FC. But for now I just want to make it last. So I'm going to use the same stuff I've been using on the GMC and the GPW. And I know it works because that's been almost a year with no paint and there is no rust. So this is the stuff. It's called fluid film. It's a non-toxic, um, non-permanent coating. I'm not a big fan of undercoating because it tends to trap in moisture and it makes it hard to uh, weld and repair and change things down the road. I really like fluid film. It, uh, it makes patina pop and it just uh, keeps stuff from rusting. So. That's all we want right now. In the past, I've just brushed it on or used their little aerosol cans, but I'm gonna try this uh, undercoat system, they call it. So it has this uh, spray gun with an adjustable nozzle. It also comes with a couple of different length uh, hoses that can get inside your doors and frame rails. And they have multi-directional nozzles, so it doesn't just spray out the end, it sprays out in several different directions. So that'll be perfect for things like these bed pockets. So I can run this hose all the way up to the end, spray as I'm pulling it down, and that'll coat every side of that pocket. All right, enough blabbing. Let's get it set up and spray this thing. So I'm gonna undercoat the entire bottom side of that. Then we'll, then we'll use the tractor, set the bed back on the frame, and then we'll do the sides and the inside of the bed. I'm gonna pop the top on this stuff and get it loaded into the gun and show you how it lays down. You can get this stuff in natural or black. Uh, I prefer the natural but it's just a uh, personal choice. It's the same exact stuff. It just kind of depends on what look you're going for and what you're using it on. So it is kind of weird and goopy and it smells weird. Um, it doesn't smell chemically. It almost has um, Kind of a wet dog, wet sheep smell. This stuff is uh, made out of lanolin, like sheep's wool. So it does have a unique smell, but it is uh, non-toxic. And the smell is definitely worth the benefits. So I'm gonna use a wide funnel because it is kind of thick and goopy. I'm not going to thin it out at all. And we're just gonna kind of pour it down in here and try to fill this bottle up. I will say using this stuff in the winter months up here north like I am is a challenge because it gets real thick um, right now it's nice and warm out here and this stuff is flowing um, about the consistency of honey is what I would call it even though it looks like peanut butter I'll move over here so you can see it kind of looks like caramel so I'm gonna fill this bottle all the way up if you get it on your hands or your clothes or anything else, uh, that's another thing I like about it. Just some uh, soapy water, some good old Dawn dish soap will clean it right up. I'm gonna start with just the nozzle that it came with, not any of the extensions, and we'll spray the flat sections and see how that does. Then we'll throw a hose on it and spray up inside the bed pockets. So there it is. I put uh, just a standard um, it has a quarter inch pipe thread nipple on the end to put your uh, air hose fitting whatever style you use in your shop. I've got the gun um, hooked up to my shop air. I have it on a regulator with a dryer and it's at about 50 pounds. I think it said the max PSI is 60. I'm not going to touch anything as far as adjustments and just kind of see how it sprays right out of the box. Alright, so pretty fine spray which you don't need to goop this stuff on a lot of people ask me if it uh, creates a lot of dust and dirt sticking to it and the harder um, or the thicker you put it on the more stuff will stick to it so if you keep a nice light coating like that on there you get all the protection but it's not going to uh, have dust and all kinds of stuff stick to it even though it is non-toxic I still wear a respirator just if nothing else even just a dust mask to keep the bigger particles from blowing and getting in your nose and stuff. I like to do it outside on a nice day. The warm sun helps it flow better 
and sometimes you got to do it under the truck you know so wear a junkie uh, outfit and put a mask on and some glasses as well All right, that laid down really nice. Now I'm gonna switch out this nozzle and do the bed pockets. So, looks like you just thread that thing out. That one just goes straight through. So I'm assuming we just screw it in nice and snug. And then on the hose, it just has uh, seven different holes on all different sides so you can get down in the pockets and really spray stuff. The shorter hose only has one big uh, hole on the very end, so a couple different applications, but this kit pretty much has you covered for anything you want to coat. Now I put the hose on, we're gonna see what the spray pattern looks like. I can see it traveling down the hose. Ooh, it's like a diesel injector. Now I'm just gonna put it in here, run it up to the very end. Ooh, I can see it coming out. that thing is coated. That is awesome. I don't know if you can see up in that pocket, it's got a nice coating all the way around. The more you want in there, the longer you hold the hose in there or just uh, pull it out slower and it'll coat anything inside your frame rail or your door pocket or whatever you're dealing with. I got the bed back on the frame and now we're gonna do the top side. Uh, one thing I like about fluid film is it really does make uh, patina pop. So. Um, I'm gonna zoom in on this rusty old metal and uh, it protects it, it helps water beat up, but it also I think makes it look a little better. This gun is pretty cool. You can really adjust the spray pattern on it. So right now, I have it set for very fine light coating. On these like exterior exposed surfaces, I don't like a heavy coating. Sometimes I'll even go through with a rag and wipe it off. But if you're working on a frame or something really gross, if you loosen this up, I don't know if you can see that, you can really make it come out. So it's, it's fully adjustable. When it's all the way in and getting tight, it's a pretty much nothing comes out. And then you can feel as you loosen it up, that's a nice little mist. And that's good for surfaces like this that you don't want all greasy and dust getting stuck to them, but you still want that protection. Good morning. If you noticed, uh, this video has cut to more modern times. You can see the bed is now on the FC and it has the new tires and stuff. I actually lost the footage from the end of that video, um, but I thought it was important enough that I wanted to finish it and share it with you. So we're now in October and the FC's come a long way. It's on the road now, I've been driving it. But um, I just really advocate for fluid film because um, it's good stuff. If I had had this when I was younger, a lot of the Jeeps and old cars that I had as a teenager would still be on the road. So um, I know there's lots of different uh, coatings and things out there. This is what I've had the best luck with. And uh, so I just wanted to share it with you. You can buy this stuff anywhere. Um, they don't really have a website you order from, but I just get it from Amazon or Tractor Supply, Walmart, anywhere has it. And uh, I think even Napa has it. And uh, you can buy it in an aerosol can uh, or by the gallon. I've done it both ways. The aerosol can is handy, but if you're doing a big project like the bed or the whole underside of your truck, I would recommend this uh, spray system. I've also tried some of the generic um, spray guns from Amazon, like the undercoat guns. This worked better. And I'm not just saying that because it's from fluid film. Uh, it didn't clog. It had a, the pickup tube and the nozzle just worked a lot better. So I'll put a link for this one. Um, it's just from Amazon. So you can uh, click on that and get one of your own. Um, yeah, and because of fluid film, all these old junk projects of mine are going to keep uh, being on the road and down the trail. So uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for sticking around and watching this. And catch you later.